Hello there. What is going on, everybody? It is dragon time. We are doing another Warhammer Age of Sigmar unboxing. We're going to take a look at the Storm Drake Guard for the Stormcast Eternals. Uh, I haven't done any, uh, you know, Games Workshop stuff in a little while, so I figured it was uh, time I added something new to my Stormcast Eternals, and uh, and today it's going to be the Storm Drake Guard. They're a uh, a unit I've been really looking forward to for a while, and I happened to find myself down at the Games Workshop store in Winter Park, and it's like, you know what, they actually have them in stock, so let's pick them up, and, uh, and I'll have a new little project to work on in my spare time, even though <laughs> I'm still so behind on my painting. Anyway, if you guys are new here to the channel, I do invite you to subscribe. We, we do a lot of mini war gaming here, uh, although while I don't do exclusively Games Workshop stuff, a lot of the stuff that I do is, uh, is Star Wars related, but I do occasionally do a little bit of uh, Age of Sigmar, which I've been getting into uh, quite a bit, uh, and, and it's, a, it's a super fun game, I, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I, I love the models, the, the Games Workshop models, and I love the Stormcast Eternals. Uh, we've got a big box inside this thing, don't we? Also, um, we always do giveaways all the time, so if you're interested in having a chance to win any of the giveaways I do on the channel, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. We've got our Storm Drake Guard, uh, I would say, book here uh, for, for assembly. Ooh, there's a lot a lot to this. This is gonna this is gonna take quite a while. My goodness gracious! Um, we've got some sprues. We've got these. Wow! Look at th this awesome uh, mounting hardware <laughs> we have on these things. Um, this is gonna be quite something. Definitely something special. Now it, it does look like there's two different ways that you can build these guys. Uh, let's look at the different sprues first off. Look at this mount. Uh, like this flight stand. It's massive. It's quite massive. And we've got two of these. What I like about this kit is there are two riders and uh, you can build them to be uh, like a unit of two or you can build them to be, you can have be two units of one or you can build them to be two different types of units. We'll look, I, and I actually have the war scrolls right here. So we'll take a look at what makes these guys awesome. And uh, yeah, but that's, you know, great, great uh, kind of leathery, uh, a draconic flesh on the wings there. We've got some of our, our head pieces, our face pieces right there. We've got some armor pieces. Of course, we've got the shields for our riders who are going to be these mighty Stormcast Eternal uh, Knights who are, whether it's a Knight Draconis or a, or a Storm Guard uh, or Storm Drake Guard who's riding one of these. Um, very, very cool. Uh, big pieces though, right? And uh, But it's, it looks like it's just one sprue per per uh per model which is is pretty cool um and then we've got uh another one here uh and you can build them with lances or you can build them with the flaming swords um you know you, you definitely have options i i don't i'm not sure how i want to do it like the sword is the better weapon but the lance gets a massive bonus if they charge so uh so i think that that's pretty cool um but yeah yeah so a lot of cool pieces here. We're gonna we're gonna put these together as well. So I won't do just the uh, the thing. I'll let you at least see what one of them looks like when they're assembled. Um, but I want to show you guys a little bit of their the, you know their 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 cards and we'll look at the stats and what makes these guys what these guys actually do on the field. So first up, it's uh, we have the Knight Draconis, and uh, I think this guy's something like three hundred points. So he's kind of a a, a pretty good amount of points. Uh, of course, he's eleven wounds, eight bravery. He moves twelve inches, uh, three up save. Um, he's got the missile weapon, which is just an automatic hit. You just roll to see what they do. You know what, how much damage they end up taking. Like you know, five or six, they suffer D six mortal wounds. Three to four, they suffer D three. A one to two, nothing. So you got a pretty good chance of doing stuff. I mean, and this is kind of uh, pretty typical of a lot of the uh, like dragon fire type of flame weapons. Uh, of course, he can fly also, which is good because it makes that 12 inch movement. Uh, you're able to go over top of stuff. Um, they're uh, they're armed with uh, you know they're either the Eon Fire Blade. They're armed with the Draconic Fangs and Talons. So you're looking at like three attacks from this unit, which is pretty good. Um, the hand fire blade is, uh, you know, you gotta be basically one inch, uh, five dice you're rolling to attack, hits on a three up, wounds on a two up, rend minus three, that's really, really significant, uh, and it's a two damage attack, uh, they also have the fangs and talons, 
which is a three inch range. That's four dice, uh, three up, uh, three up to wound and rend minus two as well. Um, and, uh, and I love this arcane heritage ability. Um, anytime they're affected by a, a spell, uh, or the abilities of an endless spell, you can roll a die on a four up, ignore, you ignore it completely. That's just, that's just so cool. It's like, like basically a 50% chance to completely ignore a spell. Um, I love that. Uh, so they have the flame stream. We talked about that already. They have the wrath of the draconic. Um, once per battle in your hero phase, you can pick a friendly storm drake guard wholly within 12 of this unit that has not made a shooting attack this phase. That unit can shoot. So I thought that that's pretty cool. If you have, if you want to pair this guy with a, another storm drake guard unit. So like what I kind of want to do here, because we have the storm drake guards here and you can, looks like you can build either way. So I definitely want to build like one of each. Um, and, you know, and so this way this guy can empower the other one, which I think that that's really, really cool. Um, because you can do to do this during your hero phase, right? And, um, and I think that they can still shoot again during the shooting phase too, right? Because this is a once per battle, so it's only like, it's like a one time thing. And these guys are certainly expensive enough to warrant it. But you also have dragged into the tempest, um, so they just have a chance to outright kill somebody else. Like after attacking is done in the combat phase, after all of your attacks have been resolved, you can pick an enemy unit, um, uh, and uh, basically that you're engaged with, and roll a die. If your if your roll is greater than their wounds characteristic, they have to pick one. Uh, and, uh, so you basically, you pick, like, they can just kill, like, any, any kind of small henchman or something like that that they happen to be engaged with, which is pretty cool. See, but if you're going up against these guys, you want to send bigger units to go up against them, right? <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, look at the Storm, Storm Drake Guard. They have, like, one of the two-part, um, you know, war scrolls, the bigger ones. Uh, but they can be run uh, as, a, as a unit of one or two. Uh, and so having a unit of two is pretty cool. Um... They do point out that only one model can carry out the monstrous rampage, uh, which of course makes sense. Um, and uh, their mount, their champion, which means one of them gets uh, extra die or you know plus one to their attacks characteristic, which is really cool. And and, and here you, that you can have give me either the lance or the war blade. They're not going to have both, but the war blade is six dice. It's a three up, three up, red minus one. So it could be seven dice if your leader's wearing that. But then the lance, well, it's only three. We're going to see some bonuses to the lance, which I really, really like. So I think, I think I'm giving him the lance. Um, but yeah, so, um, but the, you, we've got the dispersed formations. It makes, it changes, it makes them easier to synergize. Um, you're going to have the merciless impact. So if, if, uh, the, the, the lance has rend minus two instead of minus one and damage of two instead of one if they made a charge in the same turn. Um, they also have arcane heritage, which means they can you know they can roll off those spells. They got the same fire attack, and then they have the same ability to to kill uh, a, a, a somebody for free. And they also have draconic onslaught, which is kind of cool, which lets them uh, during once per battle during your hero phase uh, they can um, roll a dice if any enemy units. Uh, or within 12, or basically they can make a normal move and then you have a chance to charge as well. So uh, like, a, like a whole extra move and potentially charge um, on top of everything else. Well, that's another once per battle thing. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Let's see how they look when assembled. All right, so we have this guy put together and uh and this one is uh, i did him as far as like the the knight draconis uh sort of uh look so we've got a knight draconis put together uh, i didn't do the other one the other the other one i'm going to do as one of the uh storm drake guard folks but uh, but this is a you know a, just a good idea to kind of get you uh an idea of the scale um these are these are really cool so what i like about this uh, is a number of things. First off, I don't have the rider completely seated in there. I mean, he's seated in there, but he's not glued in. Um, I like that they kind of made him very uh, easy to get glued into here because of the fact that I am going to want to paint these separately, and I don't want the dragon's skin tone touching my rider's armor. Uh, I might want to do some airbrushing. I usually like to do a little bit of airbrushing on uh, on dragons and stuff like that. But I also especially like inside the belly here, uh, we've got... We've got this uh, this nice little groove that uh, hits this base area perfectly, so I can just lock him in 
And I don't even have to glue him to that. I can just kind of rest him on there if I wanted to. Like maybe you want to store him separately and you don't want to store him on this. He's going to stay in there um, for gameplay nice and easy, right? So like they really did a good job with uh, with this whole model. So really cool. Um, it, it wasn't uh, wasn't particularly hard to put together either. It took a little bit of time, but uh, but not that bad. Not that bad. The uh, like the, I think one of the hardest parts was um, there was a little like like this this particular little groove piece in here was a little tricky on because uh, uh, it was a separate piece and some of the fingers are a little a little tight and, and stuff but I mean those weren't even hard those were just the hardest pieces and those weren't uh, were pretty easy um, definitely was fun to put together uh, and uh, I, I love the dragon scales too because a lot of times you know you have all these little these mold lines or the or these these parts where like you know one you know one piece of the dragon goes into another. And because of where all the scales are, it's really easy to make those sort of interlock and you can't really even tell where it was glued together. So it looks like it's just one big cohesive unit. And, uh, and I really like that. Um, like, like the, the wings each were like, like three or four different pieces, but you, you have a harder time telling where they were glued because they just design, you know, the, 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 the points where they're going to go into each other very, very easily. Um, as far as the rider, the rider's pretty much a standard, uh, standard Stormcast Eternal, and there we go, and, uh, and he is, uh, he's got the, uh, the Flaming Sword, I could have done him, if he, if he was gonna go on the, uh, the other one, if he was gonna go on the Drake, uh, he would I could have given him a regular sword, or a lance, uh, and I'm gonna do a lance for the other one, uh, I think it's gonna work really good to have one of each, and this is another reason that this is a really cool unit, uh, or an expansion again, because you can build, you can build three, different units, right? You can build, um, you can build the Knight Draconis, or you can build a single Storm, Dar Storm, uh, Storm Drake Guard, or you can build a double Storm Drake Guard. And if you want to run two units, you can run a Knight Draconis and a single Storm Drake Guard, or if you build up two Storm Drake Guards, you can run two separate Storm Drake Guards, or if you're just playing casually, you can run them however you want. But if you're doing it strictly WYSIWYG, you're gonna probably have to go with um, you know, you, it'd probably be a good idea to go with a single Storm Drake Guard and one single Knight Draconis, and uh, and then kind of have it that way. So you can, but yeah, it's this is like a great, you know, I, I love being able to have two units out of one box. I think that's really cool. Um, one thing I'm a little unsure of is, you know, like this piece comes off of the base here, and I'm not really sure what all of this is for. It looks like like this can go onto that and then you have like this whole separate piece on here <laughs> i just don't know what it's for maybe you know let me know in the comments if you if you know what this this extra piece is for i'm sure it's some kind of thing I mean, I'm, I'm still relatively newer to gw um kits and this is the first one i've had that's had a big big flight stand like this um so maybe this is you know uh, if you want to substitute it for something else or put another model on top of it, I don't, I don't know exactly, but, uh, or maybe, maybe this is just a standard, uh, you know, this goes with something else and they just decided, you know what, let's not change the mold. Let's just give them that. Also, uh, one other size comparison, because this is a pretty large model. This is one of the larger, uh, models, uh, that I've got for Stormcast Eternal. I'm going to just compare those to the, uh, my Karazai, the Scarred here. Um, you know, you can kind of get an idea of, uh, of kind of how they look um, size sized up to each other. So, all right, guys, that is going to do it for for this particular video. Uh, thank you for checking it out. Um, make sure you um, like the video, share the video, you know, all that good stuff. I will talk to you guys later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. So say we all. Always wash your socks and have fun playing games. Goodbye there.